morning mga kapatid. Come once again to our daily morning devotion. It, it's really a joy to be with you again this morning. And I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay nakahanda na para mag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. And at the same time, nandun yung kagalakan sa ating puso upang tanggapin ang salita ng Panginoon na may punong-puno ng pag-asa, punong-puno ng saya sa ating puso na despite our situations, despite our challenges in life, nandun pa rin tayo na kumakapit sa mga pangako ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. And we thank God dahil it's a new day, it's a new hope, and a new beginning. And before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high, O oh God. Truly indeed that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Today, Father, as we humbly down before you, please continue to sanctify and purify our body, soul, and spirit. Help us, O oh Lord, to listen unto your word of truth that gives hope, life, and direction in every day of our lives here on earth. We thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. Continue to bless your word as you open our hearts, minds, spiritually, so that we'll be able to understand and receive your word. Na nandun lagi, Panginoon, yung receptive heart and retentive spirit in our hearts. We thank you, Father, for what you've done and you're still doing for today. And as we allow your Holy Spirit to work in us and through us, we believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things in our lives, kasama po ang aming buong family. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness, your love, your mercy and grace that sustain us every day. And to you alone, we give our highest praises, highest honor, and thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So today, mga kapatid, our scripture reading for today will be found in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 to 25. And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain in the most holy place. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting Him. For our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and, to, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep His promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. So, basahin ko naman sa Tagalog translation. Sinabi dito, Kaya nga mga kapatid, Tayo'y malaya ng makapapasok sa dakong kabanal-banalan dahil sa kamatayan ni Jesus. Binuksan niya para sa atin ang isang bago at buhay na daang naglagos hanggang sa kabila ng tabi. Alalaong bagay ang kanyang katawan. Tayo'y may isang dakilang saserdote na namamahala sa sambahayan ng Diyos. Kaya't lumapit tayo sa Diyos na may tapat na kalooban, at matibay na pananalig sa Kanya. Lumapit tayong may malinis na budhi sapagkat nalinis na ang ating mga puso at nahugasan na ng dalisay na tubig ang ating mga katawan. Magpakatatag tayo sa ating pag-asa at huwag mag-alinlangan sapagkat tapat ang pangako sa atin. At sikapin natin mapukaw ang damdamin ng bawat isa sa pag-ibig sa kapwa at sa paggawa ng mabuti. At huwag kaligtaan ang magpagdalo sa ating mga pagtitipon gaya ng gagawa ng ilan, kundi palakasin ang loob ng isa at isa, lalo na ngayong nakikita nating na lalapit na ang pagdating ng Panginoon. Ito yung banal na salita ng ating Panginoon. So our title for our message for today is 
a call to persevere. So, how can we persevere in trying times? So, ano yung mga trying times? What are these trying times? It either be sorrow, affliction, tribulation, adversity, difficulties or hardship, misery, misfortune, ordeal, problems, troubles, struggles, or unhappiness. So, alin dito, mga kapatid, ang naranasan nyo sa buhay ninyo? Or, presently, ito na ngayon yung pinagdadaanan mo, o sa pamilya mo, or, ito yung mga, ina, minsan inaalaw ng Panginoon na mangyari sa ating buhay, para lalo hubugin ang ating pananampalataya, hubugin ang ating pagkatao, para lalo tayong maging matibay, maging matatag sa ating pananampalataya sa ating Panginoon. So, how can we persevere in trying times? Una po, let us draw closer to God. Sa verse 22 nung binasa natin, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting Him, For our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. So the moment that we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior in our lives, ito yung nag ito ito na yung umpisa or the beginning for us that we have this identity with our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we become the children of God. So, kapag nandun na yung, yung uh, relationship natin, your intimate relationship natin sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, we can come boldly unto the throne of grace of God. Because Jesus Christ is our mediator. He is the high priest wherein He is interceding for us. Kaya nung time na namatay siya sa krus ng Kalbaryo, binuhos niya yung dugo niya para malinis lahat ng ating kasalanan, Jesus Christ have already opened the way for us to be, uh, to go, to grow uh, in our relationship with Him and to draw closer to our Father in heaven. So, dito, if we really have this uh, faith in Him na patuloy tayong mag-persevere, patuloy tayong maging matatag sa ating pananampalataya sa ating Panginoon, gaano man kabigat ang pagsubok sa ating buhay, gaano man, uh, gaano man yung mga struggles natin sa buhay, it either be you are, you are struggling now with your physical illness or you are struggling now, ang challenge mo ngayon nagkaroon kayo ng uh, misunderstanding with your family or with your spouse or either you are you are having a financial setback o hindi ka na makaka-move on doon sa nangyari sa buhay mo or either mayroon kang mga mga lalahanin, marami mga lalahanin sa buhay na ang akala mo, gusto mo nang wala ka ng pag-asa, na wala ka na ng pag-asa, or gusto mo na mag-give up, gusto mo na mag-quit, dahil sa sobrana, hindi mo na kaya, but then, God has said in His Word, that if we really seek Him with all our heart, soul, and spirit, He's always there for us, interceding for us, and we can come boldly unto the throne of grace, as we draw closer to Him, Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Diba sabi niya sa John 14.6 Jesus is only the way, the truth, and the life and no one comes to the Father except through Him. So ito yung identity natin sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo if we really know Him in our lives that He is our Lord and Savior mayroon na tayong our identity as the children of God we can come boldly to His throne of grace. So patuloy lang tayo na magkaroon ng uh, pananampalataya at paniniwala that God is always there for us. No one can separate us from the love of God. So, and secondly, how could we persevere in trying times? 
Let us stand firm with our faith. Sinabi doon sa verse 23, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep His promise. So, dito natin makikita na in times of trials, in times of testing of our faiths, in times of different kinds of challenges, problems, pains, suffering, sorrows in our lives, nandun yung pananampalataya natin na gusto ng Panginoon maging stand firm tayo doon sa ating pananampalataya na our faith should always be anchored to the promises that God had already given to us. Ang gusto lang ng Panginoon, panampalatayanan natin yun, we should believe by faith that God will fulfill all His promises because God, He is a faithful God and He never changes and He never lies. Kaya dito natin panghahawakan na whatever trials, whatever pain, sorrows, or tribulations, or anything that could... Uh, that could uh, distract our our faith in our Lord, huwag nating hayaan na nakawin ng kaaway the joy of our salvation. Kundi patuloy tayo kumapit doon sa pangako ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. If we are suffering right now from any sickness, cancer man yan, kapatid, anumang heart problems yan, kapatid, or anything na sinusubok ngayon ng yung pananampalataya. Patuloy ka lang manalig, manampalataya kapatid, because God is our ultimate healer. He is our Jehovah Rapa. He had said in His word that He will never leave you, He will never forsake you, and by His stripes, Isaiah 53 verse 5, and by His stripes, we are all being healed. Panghawakan mo yun, kapatid. And I do believe by faith, as you will experience the goodness and faithfulness of God upon your life, dito mo lalong maging, uh, lalo kang maging matatag sa iyong pananampalataya. And the more na makikita mo yung, uh, yung pagkilos ng Panginoon sa yung buhay, He will eventually continue to mold your character, your behavior, our attitude. And at the same time, He's always there to protect us from any harm that the enemy wants to destroy us. Because the enemy only come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ have come to give us life and to the full. Panghawakan mo lahat yun, mga kapatid. Napakarami pong mga, mga promises na ang angkop doon whatever situation that we have in life. Kung nangangailangan ka ngayon ng mga uh, financial or anything, na it will uh, make your uh, needs of your family God is our Jehovah Jireh panghawakan mo yun kapatid He is our ultimate provider for He said in Philippians 4.19 our God will supply all our needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus panghawakan mo lang kapatid ang kanyang mga pangako sa ating buhay. So, ano yung pangatlo? How could we persevere? Pangatlo po, let us encourage one another. So, sa verse 25, And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. So, napaka-importante po na mayroon tayong, uh, mayroon tayong isang community kung saan tayo natin mararanasan yung sense of belongingness. Nandun yung uh, mga kapatiran. And I thank God because CSCC, Church on a Hill, Christian Community, ito po ay ginamit ng Panginoon para maramdaman natin 
yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa ating buhay bilang isang pamilya. Ang pagmamahal ng ating mga kapatiran, mararanasan mo, they are the expression of God's love to us. And I really thank God dahil naging part po kami dito sa church na ito at nakita mo talaga na hindi ka nag-iisa. They are there to encourage you. They are there to support you morally, spiritually, physically, and financially. So, I really thank God because if we have this, uh, if we involved in God's family, makikita natin na uh, hindi, na, hindi tayo nag-iisa in times of troubles, in times of trials, in times of testings of our faith, nandyan at nandyan sila. And we thank God for that kasi uh, alam natin na ginagamit ang Panginoon ng buhay ng ating mga kapatiran for us to experience the love of God in our lives. Kaya encourage ko rin kayo mga kapatid kung wala pa kayong mga uh, mga, mga church or uh, 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 kumbaga, a community of Christian brothers and sisters I encourage you to join them kasi iba talaga yung nandun ka with a group of these uh, uh, godly people na mag-encourage sa'yo kaya mag-encourage sa inyo dahil uh, sabi nga ba diba, no man is an island oo nandito na tayo sa generation na Uh, uso na ngayon yung online oh, doon na lang ako mag service sa bahay nandid na ako pero iba pa rin mga kapatid yung makakasalamuha mo makakapag interact ka personally sa mga kapatiran napakalaki, napakalaki po na isang encouragement na isang uh, motivation para sa atin kasi sometimes we cannot express sometimes We cannot express our love, uh, binsan our, our inner struggles, binsan kung wala talaga yung uh, personal touch, iba talaga rin yung mga personal touch na ma 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 maano mo sa kapatiran. At dito mo rin ma mararanasan yung spirit of belongingness. So, we continue to persevere, kaya nga sabi nga, for the day of His return is drawing near. So, we don't know. Ang importante, we are ready. We are ready and at the same time, maging uh, stand firm tayo sa ating faith, ang ating pananalam, pananampalataya. And at the same time, we continue to draw closer to God every day of our lives. Kaya, we are so thankful dahil sa CSCC, mayroong morning devotion. Mayroong 8 o'clock habit in the evening, mayroong kids Bible studies, mayroong ding ladies, mayroong din uh, ala youth for the young people. And at the same time, mayroong din yung para sa mga men's fellowship or yung mga fathers in a family. So napakaganda po na we are part of God's family. At dito tayo nahuhubog, dito tayo binsan uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, learnings with each other. At dito rin tayo nagkakaroon, may experience na yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So, dito natin makikita, and again, mga kapatid, uh, if we really have this uh, uh, perseverance in our hearts, we continue to trust, believe, and have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. And we know that uh, maraming different uh, Bible characters who really persevere with their faith. Isa na doon si Joseph, isa na doon si Apostle Paul, and also si Job, di po ba? Naging victorious po sila at the end. Though marami in their journey of life, maraming mga testing of their faith, maraming mga pagsubok, na dinaanan nila and yet God is with them so ganun din po tayo mga kapatid panghawakan natin ang pangako ng Panginoon sa ating buhay let's continue to draw closer to God let's continue to stand firm with our faith and let us continue to be a part of God's family and to encourage one another and let us be together as one family So, yun lang po mga kapatid. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we worship and glorify your most precious name. Be exalted and be magnified forever. Thank you so much for your love, mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. Please forgive us from all our sins and transgressions. As we claim your promise in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, you are just and faithful to forgive us and purify us from all our unrighteousness. Thank you so much for your loving kindness and faithfulness that endures forever. May your name be known to all nations as you empower us with your Holy Spirit to work in us and through us for your honor and glory. We lift up unto you all our families. Please strengthen our faith as we continue to trust your unfailing love that in you alone we find the essence of life filled with joy, peace, and hope. Please help us to be a salt in light in this painful world as your Holy Spirit leads us. We lift up also our brothers and sisters who are undergoing trials and pains. May they find joy, strength, and comfort from you alone. Bless them with spiritual knowledge and wisdom that they will bring them closer to you as they fully trust your ways. We thank you for all your promises that gives us freedom to worship you in spirit and in truth as we put our total trust and confidence to our Lord Jesus Christ who victoriously won for us on the cross of Calvary. We lift up unto you all who are suffering from different sicknesses, those who are physically abused, those who are mentally depressed and emotionally distressed. And even, Lord, those who are spiritually down, please help them to rise up with the hope that they have in you, that you will never leave them nor forsake them, as they will find and experience your healing touch and breakthrough upon their lives. We lift up unto you all our children and young people. Please protect them from any harm and any deceitful scheme of the enemy in their lives. Please strengthen them with your love and mercy, that they will grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We lift up all the widows, the street children, all the prisoners, and all the victims of calamities. Please cover them with your holy precious blood as they will experience your goodness and faithfulness upon their lives. We believe by faith that you are our Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides all our needs. You are our Jehovah Rapa, the God who heals us. We pray also for all the missionaries all around the globe that they will continue to be a salt in light as you empower them with your Holy Spirit. Please protect them and provide all their needs. We pray also the salvation of every members of our families, that they will receive and accept you as their personal Lord and Savior over their lives. We pray also for all churches, locally and globally, that we will unite as one body in Christ, proclaiming the good news and discipling all nations, regardless of race, nationalities, and culture. We lift up unto you all the working parents and OFWs. Please protect them from any harm as you bless them with courage and perseverance to work away from their families. Please comfort them when they feel homesickness and let your peace reign in their hearts wherever they are. We thank you, Father, for the privilege to draw closer to you through these devotions, and may you find us faithful till we see you face to face in heaven. May our hearts be connected to your heartbeat as you shower us with your gracious love, and we become the person you want us to be according to your plan and purpose in our lives. To you alone we give our highest praise, honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So thank you, mga kapatid. I hope and pray that the Lord speak unto your hearts and through His word, it gives us the hope and the strength, the peace to move on forward to another level of our maturity, spiritual maturity with the Lord. Thank you and God bless. Have a good day. We love you with the love of the Lord. Bye!